All right, we're going straight to the battlefield. And Fox did it. Okay. I was expecting Meerkat to go uh, Marth here. He does have a pretty accomplished Marth. And the Fox is definitely going to test his... Uh, whether he's rusty or not, his technical ability. Peter is without a doubt better than Papa when he's in form. I believe it. Absolutely believe it. Ooh, that, yeah, Papa did not want that forward throw. Good tech on the platform. I love that DI. Oh, no. This is a ledge dash. It can happen to anyone. Up throw, up air. Oh. Yeah, and see, uh, Papa No John's. He's going to have to be resilient in this situation. He's going to have to say, all right, that's just first stock. It's not such a huge deal. Let's just come back, come back uh, get that stock down, and start uh, taking away his opportunities for extra credit. He's got him cornered pretty nicely here. That's a really difficult edge guard to do right there. Um, just the flow chart doesn't really allow you to cover everything that he can do from that situation. He could have gone angled up to top platform. He could have gone down to ledge. He could have gone straight at you. He could have done this angle where it's at you, but you land further on stage. There's a lot that could have happened there. And covering all of them, especially his box, just seems really difficult. So nice uh, um, platform, not platform, shield drop, back air. Uh, cleans up the stock for Papa No Johns, but he's got a lot of damage checked on. He already had 100 at the time. Ooh, very nice. Smash the eye. Gets the double jump out too, but isn't able to put out a hitbox that can contest Meerkat's up air. So, very clean stock for Meerkat. Papa No Johns trying to go into the shine grab, and it's, I think he got like a Phantom Shine or something, on, so wasn't able to connect it, but nice little bit of damage there. Oh, he had the right idea with the back air, just didn't angle it far enough. Uh, didn't air steer. That's what I mean. There's one stage. Oh, okay. Back throw down smash. Let's do it. Yeah, it's... You know, I've always seen Meerkat kind of treat himself like a Marth main. Or, I mean, a Fox main. Except that I feel like his Marth is debatably better. Um... Admittedly, I probably have more experience in the Fox matchup than I do in the Marth matchup, so maybe that's part of the issue there. But uh, to my eye, I've always liked his Marth a little bit better. Uh, even in teams, like when we team together, uh, our double Marth works better than our Marth Fox, which is not the way that it should go. Double Marth is definitely not a top tier team. Marth Fox definitely is. Papa No Johns gets the stock and brings it pretty well even. And now it's just a question of the clutch factor. Can Papa No Johns get what he wants? And he tried three different things there to get his opening hit. None of them worked. And that might be a mental block. Yeah, that, that down air was not the greatest idea. And you need to be looking at your opponent and seeing what your opponent is doing here. Um, and it seems like Papa No Johns has kind of lost sight of what Meerkat is trying to do. Okay, he gets in, he gets grabbed, puts him on the platform. Not a very strong punish there. Uh, Meerkat with very good defense. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That was a nice back air uh, to cover going at him. But Meerkat went up and was able to come down uh, in the proper fashion. Papa no John still had an opportunity to continue the edge guard once he landed on the side platform, but uh, Meerkat had a better move. So that looks like uh, about how we expected that to go down. Found of dreams it is. All right. So this will be interesting to see. Uh, I don't see a lot of Fox play on this stage because uh, they're always going to ban it against me. It's, I would argue that this stage is actually worse in the Marth matchup than uh, FD is. And so that's, of course, highly debatable. But, um, I don't get to see how Fox plays on this stage an awful lot. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more technically demanding because platforms can scoop you up anytime at random, and it's just something you have to be able to account for in your movements. So, a lot of the time, the better scramble player, the player who reacts better to situations that weren't as they planned, uh, they tend to do a little bit better on this stage. Uh, takes a little bit of uh, creativity, a little bit of intuition about what your moves do and how you can make them work because you run into some very novel situations based on how the platform arrangements go. Alright. Papa No Johns takes the stock. 
Uh, yeah, Meerkat was very much in danger of losing another one there. The down smash didn't hit quite the way that Papa No John's wanted. Uh, Papa No John's, I don't like how he's playing really, really defensive right now. Um, because Meerkat is seeing, okay, he's got his damage, he's okay with it. And uh, Meerkat fell into uh, a little bit of a trap there. But I want to see Papa No John's applying a little bit more stage pressure. Because Meerkat is very obviously aware that when he's got a lead, he doesn't want to be the one to engage. He wants Meerkat to put himself in more difficult situations. And Meerkat, he's got the experience. He's played PM. He's learned a lot of matchups uh, besides just the melee ones. He's going to have the know-how to space around that kind of strategy. I find that melee players who also play PM, uh, one advantage that they tend to have is that since there's so many ma more matchups that you need to know, so many that are relevant in PM, that you tend to space better because you don't always know exactly what your opponent is going to try and throw out there. You're not just going to approach it with, oh, just back air, oh, just uh, an airplane, oh, just run up shine. Like, you're not going to have a dumb idea like that to rely on. You're actually going to think, okay, what are my opponent's moves doing? How are they using them? Where do they want to be? What, what stage can I take? What stage can I take? Using the tools I'm given. Way early on that down smash, and Papa No John's gets reversed on. And here's that clutch factor again. They, they were a full stock apart, and Meerkat has brought it back, which has got to be grating on Papa No John's right now. I don't like that double jump there. Um, I liked it the first time he did it, but that time, first of all, it was the same thing he had done in the previous situation. And second of all, Meerkat was grounded and he was able to cover it. So Meerkat did go up for it. Papa No John's ends up losing the stock anyway. All right, there's a throw up air. So Papa No John's is going to have a chance to collect himself here, but he has to survive the invincibility. I like the uh, idea of light shield on platform. That's a really nice option for a lot of characters. Uh, you can shield drop off if they approach you, and if they don't approach you, there's nothing they can do that'll hit you. Papa No John's looking really solid right now, but a little bit of a miscue on that platform. I think he saw Meerkat rolling, didn't realize that he was still going to be on the platform, thought he was going to roll all the way in and tried to up tilt him. So now, he just needs to survive this. Uh, oh no. Ooh, Meerkat pulling it out right when he needed to. That Shine Spike is just a spirit killer. So Meerkat takes a 2-0. Fairly close, and Papa No John's showing, you know, he has the tech that he needs, but just needs to clean a few things up. Um, I think his nerves definitely play into it a lot. He tends to clam up a little bit and either start throwing out panic options or stri start trying to space too safely and giving up space. Because uh, a lot of the time that he ended up in a disadvantage situation there, it was because Meerkat was um, closing in on the space that he was giving him safely. That's something Meerkat is very good at. We've got CPU Zero and AK-47 coming on for y'all. CPU Zero, um, a very solid puff main, um, trying to get his way onto the PR. He's been out here grinding. He's been to all the tournaments that he can go to. AK-47 has been around a good long time. Very technical and uh, well-moving uh, Captain Falcon player. Um, he hasn't shown the player versus player talent quite as much as CPU Zero has. Um, he's definitely very technical, very smooth, but translating your technique into game wins 